Spencer's rail sector is the, the division of the business that does infrastructure, depots, stations, platforms, um, everything basically that, that happens on the operational railway. And that can involve sort of third parties works where we're looking at uh, maybe bridges or um, development type work alongside the railway. That could be new sidings and things like that that clients want where, they, where there's a connection into the operational railway. My name's Ian Atkinson, Engineering Director for the Materials Handling part of the business here at Spencer's. The type of materials, typically uh, the obvious bulk materials, are things that are mined, quarried uh, or transported here by ship. The obvious things are coal, gypsum, uh, wood pellets from by ship, um, sand and gravel, limestone. For example, at a quarry, um, if stone's quarried, you can't sell it as a big lump of stone. So it has to be processed, produced into products, and then those products are stored, handled, loaded into uh, trains, ships, or road wagons. And the infrastructure to do that with any sort of bulk material is what Spencer's can deliver. I'm Rob Marshall, I'm sector lead for energy, which includes power generation and essentially decommissioning of, of nuclear. Going forward, power generation, 10 megawatt power plant, and then after that, subcontractor for civil works. There are also other markets where people are trying to re reuse waste. So we're currently looking at some projects that are linked into cement manufacturers. So again, it's taking a waste product and making it into a fuel. So that's, that's pretty interesting. That becomes a worldwide market. Outside of that, we're also looking at a more green technology of waste heat recovery. So we, we can see where there's a solution. We can see where there's a problem and we can work together. It's what can we do tomorrow differently, which makes it interesting. It, it gives the client the confidence that we know what we're doing and that we're actually working for the benefit of them. You know, we're adding value to, to their business. My name's Neil Hewitt. I'm the sector lead for civil engineering within the Spencer Group and it's my responsibility to find uh, opportunities out in the market, in the civil engineering market, to further develop the business um, along with the other sectors that we have in Spencer's. The majority, if not all of the bids we get in, will have a civil engineering factor. Civil engineering um, covers a quite a huge range of activities. Without civil engineering, you wouldn't have any highways, you wouldn't have any bridges to get over rivers, to get over rail. Um, it is the underpinning of the building we're sat in. Without civil engineering, there'd be no piles in the ground to support this, this very building. We specialise in the more innovative solution, shall we say, in, in how do we get from point A to point B. The technically challenging scheme, we tend to find those the more interesting schemes. One of the biggest strengths of Spencer's is the fact that we have quite an extensive in-house design department for civils and uh, m and &E, and uh, that allows us to, to provide innovation when we actually produce our tenders. When somebody hasn't done something before or needs to adapt existing technology to a new problem. Um, we're very good at that. What Spencers do is bring a broad experience across the, the industries, um, can develop a solution for them, can guarantee it'll work, which minimizes the risk for them, and then pull all the components together. What we're, we're good at is the engineering part. So if it's got mechanical handling, if it's got civils works, we'll do the full lot and do it really well. The scale of a project's not really a problem to us. It's, it's the engineering ability that we like to see and the challenge that's there. Others would probably think, I don't want to look at that because it looks too difficult. Whereas we tend to be, that looks really difficult. We want to look at that one. Do we have the right people in house that can come up with some really clever ideas? Our next job depends on us providing an exceptional service for our clients. Uh, we have a, a lot of knowledge internally. Yeah, we have some very, very knowledgeable staff uh, and we pull on all the resources within the business to make sure that we, we basically come up with the best solutions for clients' problems.